What's up, guys? Aaron Alda here, and we have the first episode of Soccer Bros. I'm here with my dad, Mark, and my uncle Jared. Welcome to the first episode, Soccer Bros. Soccer Bros. She's <laughs> a bot. And we just want to talk about soccer. Everything that is interesting about soccer. Wait, it's the agent and young Ronaldo together in the same room. This is a little artificial, but wait. Uh, I just sent you a link from Brighton's last game. Um, right. Let me know if you think this is a foul or not. Okay. Foul. Yeah, it was a foul. They, well, the referee called it a foul. No, it doesn't mean it's a foul, but I, I think it was. A, I'll tell you why. I think if the arm doesn't come out, you've got a like a better case for it not being a foul. And like, is he is he playing the man or playing the ball? Like, it's a little ambiguous. I I would say if it's if if his shoulders in, I might have given him the benefit of the doubt. What's going on with your hair? It's pretty dope, right? You know, it reminds me of a. Uh, it uh, who's the guy that's saying "Never gonna let me down." Rick Astley. You look like Rick Astley. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna say goodbye. Every once in a while, I'm gonna introduce the fake, you know, like the fake Skype freeze. You know, everybody, everybody knows that. It's like you're talking, and then I'll. What's up guys, it's Simon aka Young Ronaldo, and welcome to Simon Says. So today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how parents should talk to their kids after games. Kids normally like to think what they want to think about the game, so I feel like it's the best time for the parents to just let the kids kind of reflect on how they played and what they could have done better and leave their own opinions out. I know that oftentimes parents think that they know what's best and that their ideas can and suggestions can help the kid improve, which is probably true for some cases and maybe not for others. But I think that maybe the next day or later that day after the game is a good time to kind of maybe critique the game a little bit and try to share some feedback. Like the drive home, kids don't really want to hear the parents. If you're a parent, I hope that you'll take some of this advice and use it. If you're a kid, make sure to show this to your parents cause so you can get them off your back a little bit after the games. Of course, if you have anything good to say, you can tell us anytime. Let's see if we can get um, Poppy on the phone. Hello. Oh, hey. Oh, you know what? Your your number didn't come up. Yeah, it comes up on now. We're Skype. Skype. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to Soccer Bros, Mom. Oh, so what? What, what, what does that mean? <laughs> Good question. That's, we have no idea, actually. <laughs> It's our first episode. We're just trying some things out. Oh, so am I on the on the uh, episode? Well, you might be. Well, hey, what was it like growing up with uh, a Please. soccer obsessed family? Is this going to be edited? <laughs> Depends how you answer this. <laughs> okay, it was very difficult. Very difficult. Why? Because it really wasn't my thing. Hey, hold on for a minute, okay? Good talking with you. It's a good interview. It's a good first interview on Soccer Bros. We're going to have more of those kind of interviews for you guys. Well, there's a uh, skill uh, training or education idea called guided discovery, how to solve problems. But unless the discovery is guided, it might take forever. Discover solutions by letting him try it out. And if he fails... Hello? Hello? No, I think I think that's interesting. All right, go ahead, please. Oh, that was that was that was really. <laughs> the audience is gonna absolutely hate. It never gets <laughs> old. It never gets. Anyway, I'll be right. Did you make the Skype freeze up, or did you really see this somewhere? No, no, I made, I, I made the Skype freeze <laughs> the up. The Skype freeze is so weird. <laughs> the Skype freeze is 
Time freeze is what's next. <laughs>we don't live in the real world. This soccer in America isn't the real world. We took Brighton over to train in England a couple months ago and you got a chance to train with two big Manchester clubs. Um, Tell everybody all, all this everybody knows. Right. So Brighton is a 2010 um, playing 2008 most of the time. Right. And a hell of a player by my side. The biggest difference was the speed and the physicality of the kids. Speed um, of the kids, speed of play? Both. Yeah. The kids really? were faster and they were more physical. Yeah, even oh, for, the, sure the phys- for sure. Even the, the little play. ones. You have to find ways to create an environment where you can somewhat simulate the speed and physicality. And it's really, really challenging. Um, figuring out how to be able to do that is like one of the really interesting challenges for American players right now. Play up, right? And then that's one of the ways that you do it, right? Because you, to compete at your own age is to is oftentimes to miss out at this point on some of those other, like you can't recreate the elements around speed of play and physicality very easily. Pulisic is the big example, right? Um, seems like that was one of the ways that he seemingly accomplished his early development. Practice makes perfect, but when you're playing indoors, uh, try not to break something. That's you were just in Croatia with your two boys training. That's the real world. If you get your body position right, you actually have a heck of a lot more time to do something. If you show the ball, you're you're in trouble. And I just it's almost instinctual over there that how they do it. That was the biggest takeaway from my most recent trip is that their first touch is almost always away from pressure. Their body's almost always in between the ball and where the pressure is coming from, right? And their head's up. watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Later, bro. See you, bro. See you, bro. Later, bro. Later, bro. I don't know. Let's let the audience decide. The choices are see you, bro, or later, bro. And I hope one of you like finds something to take away from this episode. Just one Small little nugget. Snippet. Right? Like some, and if nothing Even else, if nothing else, you learn how to... I think you can turn this into something. Really? It's gonna be funny. No? Zebra sounds like something. Zebra. Like a medication. Zebra? It's like a joint pain medication. Joint medication. Yeah. Zebra. Zebra.